Hey, good afternoon, guys, and welcome back. You know, I hope you're making today the best it can be. Hey, thanks for checking out my drainage and driveway project. You know, I kind of let the cat out of the proverbial driveway bag last week with my quick little snow plow removal video uh, where you can see quite a bit of the gravel had already been put down. You know, I still have a lot of finish work to do, and I'll be covering that in the future. But today's video picks up the first weekend of January as I finish the road mat installation and completion of the drainage system in final preparation for the stone and gravel, which believe it or not, the whole process stretched out from the first weekend of January to the first couple days of March due to my good old friend Mother Nature. And as I've done the last couple of weeks, at the end of the video, I'd like to give a shout out to a few of you that left comments. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon on Sunday, January the 6th. I've made pretty good progress this weekend. You know, you, it seems like you, you, you put out a, or you have a plan or an idea of what you want to get done. And, and uh, it seems like I can, never, I can never get done what I hope to get done. But progress is progress, so as long as you're moving forward, and so far this weekend, I was able to rake out everything, got it pretty smooth, rake this whole area by hand with a large landscape rake, spread out the road mat, this section of road mat, got it all spread out, got it down in the little trenches that I, little drainage trenches that I put in, got a little bit of gravel in, in each trench but I wanted to get some gravel down so the wind won't blow my road mat away. I think I have enough down where it'll keep the road mat in place. I want to try to get this area done, get it where we can, I can call the guys back in, the excavating company, and they can finish this damn driveway. But my little 1025 R's, really helping the project move along so let's get uh, let's get a couple more couple more loads of gravel and then we're gonna call it a day here pretty quick I need to go watch the football I could use the uh, to kind of spread this out, but it seems like when I do, it it fucks up the the road mat. So you know, I'm just trying to spread this out just a little bit, not trying to get too crazy with it. Well, guys, I've made some progress this weekend. I got road mat down in one section and uh, several loads of uh, number two stone just in just kind of roughly placed just so the road mat won't get all twisted up and blown around in the in the wind um, I may do a couple more loads but I, you know, I really don't need to actually I probably don't want to use too much more of the gravel of the not gravel I don't think you can call the number two gravel the stone because I still have to do this this half and my uh, parking area and I need to make sure I I have enough to uh, weigh it down before I um, have more stone brought in because right now I'm tapping into all the way at the end of the driveway where they had to dump stone when it was too muddy for the uh, triaxles to get back here. And I'm just, I'm tapping into that, uh, that stone up there by the road. So I don't have a whole lot up there. I think that's just gonna be about a wrap for this weekend. Yeah, I apologize for whatever reason, I didn't take any uh, video footage of the installation of the road mat and the drainage pipe. Uh, going down the relief trench that you see here and the uh, road mat on the left hand side of the uh, relief trench and all the road mat you see from this drone footage um, for whatever reason I didn't uh, video installing it
around putting an end cap on the end of uh, this piece right here um, but I'm going to drill a bunch of holes in it because I, I want water to be able to go into it but I just don't want it to fill up with rocks. Yeah, I want to apologize for the poor audio quality. I was experimenting with a Bluetooth wireless mic with a windsock, without a windsock, with a waterproof case, without the waterproof case, and um, it just wasn't working out very well. A lot of muffled sound and so on. And towards the end of the video, I actually am using a new GoPro Hero 7 with an external mic, and I was having issues uh, matching the audio with the video, but I think I've worked those out. So uh, stay tuned. The future videos will have much better audio. Uh, no. no. Well, we're putting in drainage pipe in the relief cuts that I've made. The relief cut gives it a low spot for the water to find its way to and then the pipe, it'll go into the corrugated pipe and work its way to the drain system which there's my drywall number three and along this path is all gravel and all I have to do is have the relief cut make it to the center point and then it'll soak down into the gravel and then if you watch the earlier videos you'll see that in the trench is the NDS speedy drain so the water will soak in it'll work its way into the speedy drain pipe and then it'll work its way to the drywall show you guys what I've done here I put a T in with a cap drilled a bunch of holes in it because as long as it as long as it finds the water finds its way to the center channel drain we're good to go Cut this one off here and end it. Also a cap head, right? Flat. This one right here. Yep. Finally, dry enough to do something.
Are we going downhill? As Chad would say, we're going downhill fast, Jim. We're going downhill fast. Good enough for a town this size. March the 1st. I was able, uh, it's about almost 40 degrees today. I had a short day in the electrical business and we were able to get out and uh, get the final, uh, the final couple of pieces of drain in the relief uh, trenches that I, that I dug. This is dry well number three. You get a good look at it. You can see my relief trench with the corrugated pipe. And then this is the relief trench that I dug that went all the way back to my my lake. And it's, um, it's really working. We've had several big rains and there's no longer a lake that forms back here. The water does uh, find its way to the Hey, what's up horse buddies? They sure don't like the drone, but I try, try to keep it away from them so I don't spook them. Yeah, I have to, I have to just bury, I'm gonna bury my relief trenches a little bit more and then I'm ready. And then I'm, I'm ready for the, for the gravel as soon as they feel like they can get out here and the ground's hard enough to, to do something with it. But, uh, yeah, I've got all the relief trenches in that I'm gonna put in. I've got the pipe in place. I just have to do a little gravel work. I wanna make sure that I don't crush the uh, pipe when the trucks drive in, so I'm gonna do a little bit of gravel buildup around each pipe. And that's it, and then I'm done. And then, you know, as far as what I'm gonna do is done, and then I'm ready for the ready for the trucks signing off March 1st 2019 later Saturday March the 2nd let's go take a look guys alrighty I do believe I am officially done with the drainage. God, this has been vicious. My drainage is complete. I dug several relief trenches. I put the perforated, corrugated perforated pipe with the black sock in the trenches, leading to the center trench of the drywall system. With this one, since it was so close to the drywall, I went ahead and ran it right into drywall three. I've partial buried the relief trench drainage pipe. And now I am ready for completion of the stone and gravel install. But this is it. This is it guys, I am ready. Let's get a, another look, it's overcast today. It got up to about 40, but the wind is cooled off. It's supposed to snow overnight tonight, 
supposed to get a couple inches of snow. Hopefully it's the last snow we see for the season. But I am finally, holy cow, they started the excavation on, what was it, November the 13th, I think it was. And it only took them a couple of days to do the excavation. And then the rain came and f everything up. Oh man. I cannot believe I'm finally done. Well, I'm not done, but the main objective of the drainage is done. Now I gotta get this gravel lot done. Finished it last, finished it last, finished it, well, not finished, but I did finally complete the drainage system two Saturdays ago on March the 2nd. And that afternoon I emailed my driveway contractor, and since the forecast was for bitter cold the following week, we'd have no problem with the dump trucks getting stuck due to the frozen ground. So my contractor put it in high gear, and he was out here Tuesday morning to finish the job. And I was able to get some epic drone and video footage um, that I'll have to you in a few days. Uh, but for now, let's get to some shout outs. Let's start this out with John Denno. John said sometimes the tractor isn't always the best tool and the landscape rake did a nice job. Hey, thanks for watching, John. You know, I don't think my back would agree with you, but it did turn out pretty nice. Uh, the second shout out goes to Firebug1. Uh, Firebug is glad to see that things dried up some for me. You and me both, Firebug. I should have had this project done months ago. But that's how it goes when you're dealing with Mother Nature. The third shout-out goes to Scott Massey. Scott said, keep fighting, brother. It's going to be great. You got that right, Scott. You can either let it beat you down or keep moving forward. And the last shout-out goes to Mike Z. Mike said my video editing improves every week, and he can feel the frustrations I express with the wind blowing up the road map. Keep up the hard work and determination. Thanks, Mike Z. It sure has been a battle, but I do believe the hard stuff is behind me for this project anyway. So that's it for this week, guys. Please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you leave a comment down in the comments, maybe I'll give you a shout-out in my next video. Hey. Take care, and I'll see you in a few days. Finished it last, finished it last, finished it. Well, that damn clock. I don't know if you can hear it, but the Harley clock's going off again.